Hi, I'm Jim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Gerard Perigo Vintage 1945 XXL Chronograph. You can see this largest available size of the Vintage 1945 Chronograph and purchase it on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high resolution images and naturally complete pricing information for this manufactured caliber Gerard Perigo. Now this is an interesting take on the vintage 1945 because the premise of the line of course is homage to Gerard Perigo's non-round vintage watches of the 1940s but at the same time it is very much contemporary in its size fit finish and specification. On my wrist six and a third inches 16 centimeters in circumference you can see that the case truly is large. XXL it lives up to its name 52.5 millimeters from lug to lug. Perhaps it's not forbiddingly large across the wrist. It's not a 55, 56, 57 millimeter span. So I would say even though my wrist is 16 centimeters and it wears large, you can comfortably wear this watch down to a wrist circumference, I would say of 14 and a half to 15 centimeters in circumference. Now you can see the case does have some camber. There's an impressive amount of wrap to this watch, the way it drapes itself across the wrist. It's thicker than it looks, 14 millimeters, but it has a gently sloped sapphire that slopes with tumble home from side to side, as well as camber lengthwise. It also has a double stepped case flank, and as you can see, polished smooth with a stepped bezel. It's easy to slide this one underneath perhaps a loose sweater, a sport jacket, or a blazer cuff. Now across the broad of the case, not including the crown or the chronograph pushers, the watch is 36 millimeters, so the wrist presence of this one is never in doubt. Now it's paired with a very substantial Gerard Perigo alligator leather strap, monotone stitch. You can see how it's sculpted to match the flank of the case, and it is a very, very coherent look. No gap between the strap and the case. The look of integration, a almost bracelet, all of one piece, half of leather, half of steel, is very handsome. And you'll note that the strap itself does thin out considerably as it moves away from the sculpted and bolstered portion, so it can be pulled quite tight around a smaller wrist. This one's not going to fight you much. It doesn't have much of that flare that can make conforming end piece straps unwearable on smaller wrists. This one's actually quite cooperative. Now it's paired with a very high grade Gerard Perigo polished single fold deployant clasp. The dial of the watch is undoubtedly the highlight, and there's a lot going on. First, there's a dramatic satin grain from top to bottom. Also, a very traditional railroad-style rectilinear minutes and seconds track outboard. We may as well start up the chronograph for a little bit of visual enjoyment. Moreover, the watch features highly stylized late Art Deco Arabic numerals and beautifully countersunk sub-registers. Continuous seconds at 3 o'clock, chronograph minutes at 9. It has several layers and several different textures that makes it quite handsome. And you'll note the faceted Dauphine hands at center help to provide outstanding at a glance legibility. It's perhaps not at its best in the light of my light box, but in person it's quite striking, it stands out, it's very easy to tell time on this timepiece in spite of the silver on silver aesthetic. Moreover, there is a little bit of color going on here with red on the sub-registers and beautiful cobalt blue on all of the chronograph minute and seconds hands as well as the constant seconds sub-register hand. A handsome watch, beautifully made, powered by a Gerard Perigo manufacturer caliber. Now what you're looking at in this one is the 47 joule unidirectional winding automatic 46 hour power reserve chronograph 3300-0058. Now you can see it's decorated with generous linear Cote de Genève across the bridges, circular Cote de Genève on the winding mass, and a tight and even perlage around the plate. Now, it's constructed entirely in-house by Gerard Perigo, with the exception of the chronograph module that sits under the dial. That's made by Dubois de Praz, and it features a vertical clutch engagement, such that it is very smooth. Engaging, it doesn't jump. Stopping, it doesn't stagger. It resets precisely to the index at 12. And again, because of the vertical clutch architecture, you can simply leave it running with no additional hazard to the caliber, as you would find in the case of the other kind of chronograph clutch, a lateral clutch. This one's vertical, smoother in operation and engagement, and also no additional wear and tear on the watch by leaving it running. 
This is a timepiece that's handsome, vintage inspired, but very much of our time. Its size, its proportions, its wrist presence, and yes, its specifications fit and finish speak to modern sensibilities while paying a nod of deference to the past. You can see and you can purchase it on our website.